Welcome to chapter 2 guys. Last time I uh, ended the chapter with workbench and I hope you guys have played with the database a little bit. You have seen some tables, you have seen some rows and columns, you have seen some data. This is about to get interesting now. We are finally going to create some databases and create some tables. How exciting is that? So before we directly jump into code, let me just run you through the commands that we will be using. So to create database, we will use create database and this mydb is the database name that you want to create so you can create it you can put anything here and once your database is created you need uh, to verify if it's created or not if you want to verify you can do uh, show databases and then it will show you a list of databases that you have and finally uh, once you need to create tables in the database or do some other operations on the database you need to select that you database for usage so to do that you can just uh, enter command use and your database name here that is all now let's jump into code all right so if you are in windows then you need to go to the install folder of your mysql server if you are in ubuntu or uh, linux some other linux or in mac os you don't need to do this so if you are in windows first go to this uh, path that where your mysql server is installed and then inside that go to this bin folder okay now press windows and r and then type cmd this will open your command prompt and if this is for windows uh, you don't need to do this in linux and mac os all right so change directories and go to the installation folder and inside the installation folder go to bin okay now we will connect to the server as we had seen in part one now there are other ways to do this you can add this you can add sorry you can add mysql to the uh, paths and you can directly do that without coming to this mysql install directory but let's not discuss it at the moment and also in windows you can also do using this mysql command line client you can connect to mysql server using this but let's not use that so that uh, we try to be as common for all the operating systems as we can all right now the command is mysql.u root and yes we have a password that we had set in chapter one okay so just hit sorry i had a spelling mistake here it's mysql not a miss yql all right hit enter there's no p i here just hit enter and what was your password enter your password okay now you are inside the mysql command line as you can see what is the problem now i didn't expect this problem here oh i missed an s here it's show databases not show database so these are the database these are basis and these uh, sys performance schema and mysql information schema are the default databases that are installed here we will get into some of these later and these this classic models is what we had imported in the last chapter all right now to create a database it's pretty simple just try to create database and your database name my new db and end the statement with the semicolon like in most programming languages there you go voila <laughs> or how do you pronounce that anyway your new database is created if you want to verify that you can just go show data basis and as you can see you have this my new db here all right congratulations guys you just created your first database take a moment feel proud for yourself but we will be learning a lot more okay now create a table you just go use my new sorry my new db now whatever you whatever commands you write this that will be applicable to your new database so i am using this my new db now so if i create a table it will be created in my new db now let's create the table 
and creating table is also very simple the command is pretty much the same you just go create table and then write the table name now the table name is usually defined by what we are going to store in the table so uh, for the purpose of this example let's say we will create some names some age and height of some people so let's call the table underscore persons now since we are storing the name age and let's say address of the persons we need to define what we will store so to define that open bracket and then write what do you want to uh, store let's say age and then name and then address okay now hit enter now you will have an error so what is this error saying it's saying you have an error basically it's just saying you have an error so we have this error because uh, we have entered we want name we want uh, age we want address but how should it be stored we need we need to define uh, is a is an integer or is a is a string so in case you're not familiar with this concept age is in numbers right so uh, it's like one two three four five whatever and name is uh, usually alphabetical it's characters it's alphabetical it's like uh, i am sam or i am whatever you are john they are characters they are a group of alphabets and address is similar to name so now the database needs to know how it is storing those data so age is being stored as number and these are a group of alphabets so we need to define that okay so to do that we just uh, go here oh, all right so you might be wondering how this came up automatically i didn't have to type this this time so you just press your up arrow key and the, these this shows you your previous commands that you have used okay so i'm back here and since age is a number we define it by integer okay age is an integer and what is name name is a group of alphabets all right so we define that using varchar varchar is variable and characters now we need to define uh, what is the maximum length of characters that we can this can hold so let's say somebody's name is uh, john lennon somebody's name is marshall mathers somebody's name might be longer i cannot think of any long name why is that or somebody's name might be shorter so let's say 255 i'm thinking that there is no name that is longer than 255 characters all right in address let's increase this that to 500 okay i'm gonna add the character here now now writing this in caps capital letters is just a general trend it looks more readable this way you can also write that in a small characters if you want and hit enter see your table is successfully created all right well done you are learning so much it's just few minutes and you have already learned how to create a database and how to create a table all right congratulations guys let's move on quickly now so once you have created the table you need to check if the table is created or not right so to check that's you can guess what do you think you guessed it correctly it's just show tables similar to show databases now tables in my new db it's table persons congratulations all right now you know how to create a database and now you know how to create a table now one more thing so if you want to create a database again let's say create database and my new db and hit enter again as you can see you can't create my new db it's already created all right so what do you do you do create database if not exists so this my new db will be created only if it doesn't already exist all right so that is a error 
it is an error because there is no space in the, in there so as you can see one reflected one warning you didn't have a war you didn't have an error because it's it's already there now similarly what happens is you whenever you are creating a table you can also do the same thing if you do this again so instead of doing this if you write create table if not exists as you can see zero was affected one warning table was already created so it is not again created now why do we need this is because uh, right now we know this already exists sometimes when we are working with huge databases and we are writing scripts if we write create table this table and that table already exists the whole script st stops because of that error so if you write create table if not exists then then at least the, there is there will be no error and the commands below that will continue executing so let's not go deeper into this, that if you understood good if you don't no need to worry about it we will get to that point eventually all right now if you open up your workbench you'll see my new db here this is the database that we had created in command line and this classic models here classic models is the one that we had imported in chapter one and this is the new one that we created if you double click into this we can see tables the table process is created and if you double click here uh, and if you click columns you can see age name and address now since there is no data if you click this you will see empty because there is no data all right so that is it now let's quickly go over what we learned in this chapter so we learned how to create database using create database command we learned how to check the list of databases using show databases command and we learned how to use a database so that we can operate on it further we can create tables in it using use my db all right and then we learned how to create tables using create table command that is pretty much similar to creating databases one thing extra is you need to define column definitions column definition is the column name and the column data type for example age was a number so we did age integer and name was a group of alphabets so we did name where care and we had 255 as the maximum length all right till next time see you in chapter 3